everybody, I'm Mrs. Tucker. I'm one of the second grade teachers here at Wagglestown. You may or may not already know who I am. If you don't know who I am, nice to meet you. I have two stories for us today. When the Leaf Blew In by Steve Metzger. It's illustrated by Kelly Lewis. And I also have Bear Says Thanks, which is written by Karma Wilson. And it's illustrated by Jane Chapman. The bear stories are some of my favorite stories. So I'm gonna read this one second. Today, I'm gonna to start with When the Leaf Blew In by Steve Metzger. And I'm gonna to try to hold up all the pictures so that you can see it as we're going along. When the Leaf Blew In by Steve Metzger, illustrated by Kelly Lewis. When the leaf blew in, the cow sneezed, achoo! Try to hold the pictures up for you. When the cow sneezed, achoo! The spider landed on the owl. The owl looks a little upset there. When the spider landed on the owl, the owl swooped out of the barn. I'm not surprised. When the owl swooped out of the barn, the pig dove into the mud. But the pig kind of likes that. The goat looks a little worried though. When the pig dove into the mud, the goat kicked over the bucket. I don't think the goat likes to be in the mud like the pig. When the goat kicked over the bucket, the chicken spun round and round. Poor chicken. I don't think it knew what was coming. When the chicken spun round and round, the horse reared up and neighed. That's my best horse sound for today. When the horse reared up and neighed, the sheep leaped over a barrel. Sheep looks a little surprised. Oh, the duck was a little worried too. When the sheep leaped over a barrel, the duck jumped into the pond. The frog doesn't look like he knows what's going on. When the duck jumped into the pond, the frog hopped onto a lily pad. Oh, I see a dragonfly with its eyes closed. Uh-oh, poor dragonfly. It's coming for you. When the frog hopped onto a lily pad, the dragonfly buzzed across the sky. Oh, I see a squirrel and a dog. Hmm. A sleeping dog at that. When the dragonfly buzzed across the sky, the dog woke up and chased the squirrel. Poor squirrel. My dogs like to do that too. That robin looks a bit worried. When the dog woke up and chased the squirrel, the robin flew into the tree. When the robin flew into the tree, the leaf blew in. Uh-oh, isn't that how this all started in the first place? The leaf blowing on the cow's nose? I hope it doesn't happen again. The end. Phew, I'm glad that didn't happen a second time. Now we can read my one of my favorite stories, Bear Says Thanks by Karma Wilson and illustrated by Jane Chapman. And I'm gonna to try to hold up even the front and back cover. The illustrator does a fantastic job illustrating even the inside covers of the books. And if you look very carefully, you can see Bear's feet sticking out of his lair right there. Okay. Bear Says Thanks by Karma Wilson. Illustrations by Jane Chapman. All alone in his cave, Bear, lis Bear listens to the wind. He is bored, 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 and he misses his friends. I could make a big dinner, a feast I could share. But he looks through his cupboard, and his cupboard is bare. Guess you can't make a big dinner if there's nothing to eat. Then Mouse stops by with a huckleberry pie, and the bear says, thanks. There's Mouse with his little huckleberry pie. I don't know if that would be a big pie, but I bet it'd be really tasty. 
Bear says, goodness me, a delectable pie. But I have made nothing, he adds with a sigh. <sighs> then they hear, hi-ho, and they both see hair with a big batch of muffins at the door of the lair. Hmm, pie and muffins. Sounding like it's gonna be a good meal. Hare hurries in from the cold rushing wind and the bear says, thanks. I wonder who's coming next. Of course, says Hare. Then he points to the door. Here comes Badger. He's got even more. Look at what Badger has. <gasps> Looks like he has some fish. That'll be good. Fish and muffins, huckleberry pie. Brrr, says Badger as he tromps on inside. He sets down his pole and he smiles real wide. I'm back from a stroll at the old fishing hole. And the bear says, thanks. All right, then Gopher and Mole tunnel up from the ground. We have warm honey nuts, let's pass them around. You know the animals have to have different voices, right? We don't all sound the same, neither do the animals. There's a flap and a flitter and a flurry in the den when in flutters Owl with Raven and Wren. We have pears from the tree and herbs to brew tea. Mm, it's looking like it's going to be a really good feast. Pie and muffins and fish and all kinds of yummy treats and pears. And the bear says, wait. I wonder why he wants to wait. Bear mutters and he stutters. He wears a big frown. Bear sighs and he moans and he plops himself down. You have brought yummy treats. You are so nice to share, but me, I have nothing. My cupboards are bare. Poor bear. Mouse squeaks, don't fret. There's enough, dear bear. You don't have uh, need any food. You have stories to share. His friends hug him tight. It will be all right. And the bear says, thanks. They lay out their feast on a quilt on the ground, and the bear takes a seat while his friends gather round. Looks like it's getting quite cozy in that lair. In a cave in the woods, in a warm, bright lair, the friends feel grateful for their good friend bear. They pass around platters, they tweet and they chatter. And they all say thanks. Looks like it ended up being a good meal after all. And there's the same kind of illustration on the back cover as what they have on the front cover. Well, I hope you liked our stories today when the leaf blew in and Bear says thanks. You can always find these stories in the library. I hope you have a good rest of your evening and I will see you later.